Hey guys, today I wanted to cartoonify my dog Chloe because she is just a very adorable and sweet little dog. She's a very interesting part of my life because she already acts sort of like a cartoon. So I first went in with the line art and I tried three different fine liners before I could finally find one that worked. And it was so strange because, like, they usually worked for all my other stuff. But I ended up using this really old one that I've had for a very long time that usually doesn't work at all. So I really tried to capture, like, the essence of Chloe. I tried to, like, make her look very, like, cute and have, like, a very bubbly personality. Because that's uh, how Chloe is. I want to stay very true to my inspiration. So, after, like, slaving away to the cool line art, I finally got to start the coloring process, which is the very best part of drawing, besides sketching, of course. So I just darkened up the nose and the eyes, making sure to leave little highlights in her eyes and her nose. That was hard for me to do because usually I just, like, take color over everything. And like not think about the highlights at all. But I really tried to remember to do that this time. And I used these alcohol based markers that like work really well that I don't use very often. But I'm very glad I did because I had like a very fun time like blending them and everything. And I just start off really light and then at the very end I just decided to darken up the entire thing. So, I was just going around the entire thing, trying to be like very careful not to get it on any of the parts that need to be different color. Because I was using a chisel tip, and those are like, for some reason, really hard for me to work with because it's just a very awkward tip to try to use because you have to like navigate it through the entire drawing without messing up at all. So I just went in with this color and it like blended it out, tried to make it look smooth and not like have like that patchiness that sometimes happens when using markers. But luckily with these markers, everything was very smooth and all was very clean coloring. But it, they were a lot of fun to use. Because usually I use water-based markers. And those are not as easy to blend for me for some reason. I tried to make the parts where it was like fading from gray to pink. I tried to make it like a little bit lighter. So I used like a blue-gray color for like the part that was closer to the pink. And then the darker gray color. For the color that was like near the darker gray but it was like hard to do because the lightest gray i had was the blue gray i didn't want to make her look like a blue dog at all so i just had to be very careful where i used that color and now i'm finally on to coloring the body and it took a very long time to like layer all of these grays so I was like so happy at the very end when I finally got to use the pinks because pink is my favorite color and it was I think it just made the drawing really pop and I just darkened up the entire drawing really quickly and kept on with the coloring because I was still at my first base color and I tried to shade out the tail, but that, that one was hard for me to do for some reason. But I, like, had this idea to go in with all, uh, with, like, a darker color and make a bunch of little hairs. But that did not turn out good, so I just ended up adding a very dark color to the entire drawing. Uh, but then I was like, I'm going to shade it with this dark color. I ended up going in the entire drawing with that color. And then I had to use like an even darker color to shade it all. So then after making her 
darker because my dog is like blackish gray. So I wasn't happy with like the light gray color that I had. So I had to go in and do all that. And then the fun part came when I was doing the shading. Because I love to shade on like any drawing I do, whether it be with markers or uh, pastels, anything really. So then I got to go in with the pink and add to her little belly and her ears. And I really liked layering the pinks and the skin tone colors for those parts because they were just like more fun to do for some reason. And then after doing all of that, I went in again with a different color to add some shadows. I did not really like the way it looked though because like that was like a more orangey color. But then I added some pencil work to it and I'm so happy with it how it turned out. So thanks for watching everybody. See you in my next video. Bye!